happy Wellness Wednesday. I hope you are doing really well and I am grateful to have this time with you. This is a really important video where we are gonna be talking about the importance of choice and why that's important in our day-to-day -day experience and our healing process. So our bodies are capable of healing themselves and it is paying attention to our habits, paying attention to what we're spending our time doing, paying attention to where we're choosing to put our focus. That's a big piece of a basic of understanding our healing process. When we pay attention to where we're choosing to put our focus, this can give us a very strong awareness. It can give us a lot of insight on where we're putting our focus becomes where we choose to give our energy. So our focus and energy go hand in hand. A lot of us aren't even aware of what we're thinking about. A lot of us aren't really aware of what's affecting us. And if I ask people, oftentimes they really are completely clueless. They're like, I don't know what I think about. It's just like the time just passes. So the first thing to be mindful of is what you're choosing to talk about, what you're focusing on, what you're watching on the news, what you're talking to your friends about, what you're journaling about, uh, what you're thinking about, and just asking for more of an awareness there. That's very, very helpful. Now, this next piece that I wanna talk to you about is the importance of conscious choice in a given moment. So life happens all the time, meaning we get up in the morning and we don't know from moment to moment what is going to happen. We don't know from moment to moment how we are going to be impacted. We don't know moment to moment what's going to happen, how it's going to affect us. And in fact, moment by moment, things can be very life changing. I'm sure you all have situations where you know of people where just a certain event has created a huge life change for someone. It's a big deal. So people will ask me all the time, like, as they get to know me, as they get to know my work as a medical intuitive, with conflict, with the world uh, condition that we have right now, politi political stuff going on, personal relationship stuff going on, how do you not give it energy? And the idea isn't that you're not giving it energy. The idea is that you're not giving it focus. The question is, once you're giving it focus, what do you do with it? And that's the thing a lot of times I don't think we get past. So it's, this is happening in the world. This is happening in our relationships. This is happening in our lives and honoring how it makes us feel is a really important piece of the puzzle. Also paying attention to how we're defining a moment is really, really critical. Most people define a moment as good and bad. Okay. This is the thing on the path of healing and wellness when it comes to medical intuitive work that's very very important to track how much energy you're giving something how much focus you're giving something and the type of focus that you're choosing to give it it comes back down to this really really important choice and it's that whatever happens in our life is happening how we're feeling about it and what we choose to do with it is a conscious choice that we get to make that conscious choice shifts how much energy and what type of energy we're giving to a certain situation. So if you're going through something very difficult, you can feel like a victim. If you're going through something very difficult, you can also choose to stop and adjust the sales and ask how you're feeling and allow whatever that difficult situation is to support your healing process, to make you stronger, to make you more connected, to make you more aware. You get to choose what the moments are giving to you. You get to choose how you're going to define the moments that are in front of you. So there's a simple phrase, it's, it's grow through what you go through, right? It's choosing to grow through what you go through. And it's choosing to understand that by saying that statement, it doesn't mean that you're agreeing with, that, with what's happening or that you're uh, you know, in alignment necessarily with what's happening, but you're wanting to get on the same page with what's happening so it doesn't start draining your energy bank. So a great question to ask when you're focusing on the moment in front of you, can't control it, allowing yourself to pay attention to how you're actually feeling about what's going on for you inside and being mindful of that is very, very important. And then there's a question of how is this moment supporting me? That holds hands 
with that phrase of grow through what you go through, right? That you're going to keep going through life. And the thing is, is a lot of people don't grow through life. I will show you in many instances, if you pay attention in your life and you really look at things in your life, you get to see how did that help me grow when you look at difficult moments in your life. So a lot of people will look at difficult moments and they say, oh, you know, it sucked that time of my life. Well, things can suck, but you can still grow if you look at how it helped you grow, how it helped you become more aligned, how it helped you become a better person, how it helped you become better with boundaries, how it helped you understand certain things, and it allows you to work through them. Any situation in your life that you've gone through, you likely can figure out how it's supporting you to help you grow through that experience. So the most difficult things in our life offer us the most profound growth. That's what happens. And it's a matter of choosing to see things in that way. So I know you all have people in your life that seem to be more optimistic or seem to maybe by default kind of act in a way like I'm talking about here, which is looking at more of a positive spin of whatever that thing is or looking for what the gift could possibly be in that thing or what the challenge is in that moment and what it allows us to come out being better at or learn a different skill set with or connect in a different way. This is such an important thing to pay attention to. So otherwise what happens is this, without being aware of it, we hold our breath and we hope life is gonna go the way we want it to go and we live our lives with our breath being constantly held. When you hold your breath, your inflammation goes up. When you're hoping that things work out the way you want, you're resisting a lot of life, the stuff that isn't happening in the way that you want. You hit traffic, um, you get a bad report from the doctor, you find something out with your husband or your wife or your you know, your, your job, or again, like politics, anything, uh, uh, anything that you can't really control that's just happening, you get to pay attention to what you do with that moment. And if you allow yourself to just remind yourself of that simple question of how could this moment possibly be supporting me? That's a great start. By allowing yourself to acknowledge that you're having a hard time with the moment can be a very good start. Just acknowledging that as you keep talking about something, there's a reason you're talking about it. So when you're talking about something, think in the back of your mind, how am I actually feeling about what I'm talking about? Am I angry, sad, frustrated, overwhelmed, whatever that is, identify that. That can really help in the healing process. And then giving yourself permission to really feel those feelings can be very, very, very beneficial. Because when we don't let ourselves feel our feelings, we repress them. It's kind of like a beach ball. We hold it down in water. It takes so much effort to push that down instead of just letting it pop up to the surface. So giving yourself that space to be able to honor how you actually feel is huge. And then having the courage, and I don't ask this question or say this question lightly and this phrase lightly, how could this moment be supporting me? What are the possible lessons that are here for me to learn? What are the skill sets that might be able to grow from going through this? Because more than anything, I want to feel supported in life. I want to wake up in the morning and instead of holding my breath, hoping for things to work out the way I want, I'm trusting that things are working out the best for me to grow at the level that I'm here and capable of growing. Because that's the thing is we are capable of so much more than we realize. But what happens is we want things a certain way, they don't go the way we want, and then we get fixated on talking about them and feeling angry, resentful, frustrated. So if we stop and we step back and we say, okay, a lot of life, like most of life, I can't control what's gonna go on. And this is really zapping my energy bank and I really wanna help heal my body, my mind, my spirit, whether it's health, whether it's finances, whether it's uh, emotional well-being, it doesn't matter. It's energy. And if we can figure out the energy, the energy drain is huge when you're going through life holding your breath, only wanting a certain outcome. I hope the test result says this. I hope the test result says this and then it doesn't. And then what happens is we try to convince ourselves not to be super disappointed. Just be honest with yourself. Be honest with how things are feeling. Be honest with what you are going through. Then step back, do whatever work and skills that you know to use in that particular situation, and then allow yourself from there 
to take big deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth and allow yourself to ask that powerful question. How could this moment be supporting me right now? I am willing to look at that and I'm willing to pay attention to that and I'm willing to get answers for how is this moment supporting me? What is this giving me an opportunity to learn? What is going on here? Those two things together in the work that I do are such powerful pieces of being able to preserve your own natural energetics. If you're talking, 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 talking and not identifying the emotion, that's not helping you. And if you're looking at a problem and staying focused on the problem, that's not gonna help you either. So if you look at life as moments, as gifts in front of you, it can help you tremendously. And if you look back at difficult times in your life with what we're talking about, you'll see what I'm talking about. So give yourself the space to honor how you're actually feeling about things and don't pretend you're not affected by things because the thing is, is we're affected by pretty much everything. And it doesn't mean that we have to walk around being hypersensitive. It's understanding that we just need to honor how we're actually feeling about things, how things are impacting us so that we feel in harmony with our emotional state. Otherwise, we push against that and that creates inflammation. That coupled with looking at your life from a different angle, we can look at it as a victimized kind of stance that things happen to us. This is getting in our way. This is not helping. This is wanting to destroy us. This this thing is just, I'm at my wits end. There's no point in anything. You, you can do that. And if you have this attitude long-term, eventually you're going to get to that place of feeling point like everything is pointless. It's hopeless. Um, there's not good in the world because you're anchored then into that negative mindset, which takes a ton of energy. It's that beach ball going down. Or you can stop and say, what is this giving our community an opportunity to learn? What is this giving our op like a healing opportunity for our culture, for our world, for myself, for our relationship? What's this giving us an opportunity to do? So I'm sure those of you in relationships, when you go through a bit of a bumpy patch, you come out stronger as you're learning a different style of communication or understanding, or you learn a different um, boundary, right? It's the same thing with everything in our life. Those difficult times are the times we want to embrace and we want to honor how we're feeling and we want to look at what this is an opportunity to do, that it's an opportunity to grow through the experience that we're living through and that we're going through at all times. And as we do that, there's a harmony that will happen in our system. As that harmony happens in our system, our guts can help stop and relax and reset. Our nervous system can reset and our whole body can align in a different frequency. I know that sounds pretty extreme, but life has a huge impact on our health. How we're integrating life has a significant impact on our overall health, both physically and mentally. And we can't ignore that. It's not about taking supplements. It's not about medications. It's not about diet. That is a part of our healing process and learning how to take responsibility for ourselves. But the biggest piece of it, and you'll know this based on, I'm really stressed today, right? I had a horrible day at work. I'm going to come home and have a beer and a thing of candy, okay? Because we're called emotional eating at that point because we're holding on, right? So the idea is that, wow, I had a really stressful day. This is what's coming up for me. This is what I'm feeling. This is what's going on. What is this giving me an opportunity to work on? How does this help support me? What's going on here? So you do those two things, not rushed. You do the work behind your emotional process work, and then you're able to integrate that experience so that you're growing through it, which strengthens you, and it actually can then help your healing process because you're embracing it, using that difficult energy, and powerhousing your healing capacity. It is very, very, very powerful to understand this concept. Choose to grow through what you go through and it will make a huge difference in your overall life and overall physical and mental well-being. Choose to grow through what you go through. Huge hugs.